What's up, y'all? Hi, Feigl. Flotox. Running on the north side of Chicago. The main motive of capitalism is to strip the proletariat of its work is to strip the proletariat away from the concept of work. The end motive is not to The end point of capitalism is to remove the worker from the equation of work, to strip the human of its labor, of the value attached to its labor. And what are we but the work and the labor? we put into ourselves, we put into our relationships, our communities. We're stripped of all value and we're stripped, we're trying to be kept away from our communities to feel like there is no value in the community, to feel like the work that we have done for our community is useless. With COVID, isolationism is obviously on the rise. It is the new norm to accept being alone. I feel lonely. Do you? I have a family that's around me every day, and yet we still find ourselves feeling lonely. We have lost sight of the worth and of the joy and of the purpose and meaning we felt when we were with others when we danced with strangers. Do you remember the time when we used to dance with strangers? It is no, mu- it is no accident that live music has been stripped away from us. One of the most politically charged and emotive forces of the, of the world has been slighted. The collective heart has been shot in the smoking gun of capitalism. We've been deunionized been deplatformed, we've been commodified, we've been isolated. 3.9 billion in assets for the richest in the world, maybe for half, and it's actually just the US. We are being deprived of our meaning. Big tech they know what it, they know what they're doing creating false senses of community learning how to control you better 
through that false sense of community. When we are alone, we are useless. We are powerless. And those in power have collectivized. We see that today with the CEO of NASDAQ claiming that a group of subredditors are manipulating the markets. Thinking that they are the exception. They have protected their stance. These CEOs, these hedge funds, and you know what? The only way to vote is by your dollar. And now, it makes me so happy to see all these peeps on WSB subreddit making your stash. You guys are making your fucking stash. It's fucking sick and you're inspiring me. And I want to be a part of it. And... I am. I am an Occupy Wall Street peep who's dissatisfied with what happened in 2012 and with what happened in 2012-13, the dissolution of Occupy Wall Street. But what is being done, what was done on WSB... is a sign, it is a symbol of reclaiming power, of redefining how the game is played and realizing that those in power have collectivized. They've been collectivized this whole time and they have held down the working class, held down the proletariat, the middle class, the poor, the inner city, the urban, whoever you, whatever the fuck you want to call it, it is a system in which they have been reaping the benefits and they're going to go crying to the fucking big government to help instill some whatever, get some federal court hearings for stock manipulation or whatever. I don't fucking know. It's all forms me, but I say good for fucking them. Make your stash. And... But you know what? We have to... I just... I pray for... The... The ethos... Of the Wild West Internet to stay true... And your heart... The only way to collectivize these days... Is... Through the internet. And subreddits like WSB... Have proven... That collective action... Is the only way out. And you know what? The alt-right, the red pill, whatever. They collectivized. They did their shit at Congress. I'm not saying anything is all attached. But I'm saying the true warfare that needs to be done is economic warfare. And the true protests that need to be done are economic protests. Hedge funds. Hedge funds. Their algorithms... Their analyses don't operate on right, right brain syndromes. They don't understand the theater of our protests. They don't understand our protest arts or our protest songs. They can't, they don't even respond. They don't know how to compute. But what does compute is a loss of those funds they've betted. So, teach them a lesson. Fuck yeah. Keep going. We, may, we might feel lonely. I feel lonely. But the true power for all of us is to speak our truths, speak them together, and back each other up. Create the space for each other. And as we claim space... Uh, you know, there is a balance, but you know, we can't teeter the scale. We have to 
lock the scale, equal it, and you know, equalize it and lock it, and then build from there. Whatever. I'm just saying, in this day of isolation, in these COVID times, in this generation of social media connected people, and but also in a day in which depression rates among teens and suicide rates and mental health issues are on the rise. We need pure connections, unmediated, uncorporatized, uncommodified connections. And we need eye contact. Motherfuckers, looking you in the eye right now. Look at me. Look at me, look at me. Hold on, I gotta stop. Look at me. We need pure eye contact. So look at the ones around you. Look at their eyes. Look into their eyes and speak your truth. And tell them that you're their comrade and you're their ally and you're their brother and sister. You're the protector of their space and give them the space and join together. And join together on the internet. But it has to be, we have to be careful of giving too much to the corporations in which they can, you know, once again, dissolve any cooperative relationships we might garner. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Power in the people. Love in the people. Flow talks. Let it all out.